I am here with the star. <laughs> Cynthia, I'm just so proud of you. I spoke with Deborah Martin Chase, and she said that when she saw you in The Color Purple, she knew that you were the woman for this role. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah it feels, I felt special okay. because of that, yeah. When you read the script, what first resonated with you to know that you were going to step into the shoes of playing one of the most iconic abolitionists of our time? Um, I, I, I think the thing that rang true to me was, was the fact that I got to tell a woman's story. Mm. Um, I really wanted to tell the story of a woman who, who was blessed with incredible ability. You know, not a woman trying to be a man, not a woman who is setting out to be a superhero, just a woman who has has love in her life who loved who was loved who loved her family who was married who had all of those human things that we don't know that she did um, but also had this incredible ability um, this force of will this sheer might and who was small and five foot one uh, she you you're know so well cast <laughs> you're so well cast. When I you know, because I wasn't even aware of how, you know, slight and willow willy and gamine Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. was. Too tiny. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean I think she was smaller I'm five foot one, I think she was four foot eleven or five foot. And all of that power. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And she I, there's so much I could go into this for like I really could. This woman had unbelievable intelligence. Like I don't know if anyone knows this. She you know she hired a lawyer. She hired a lawyer to look into the freedom of her mother because if her mother was free, it meant that she could marry her husband. That's what she did. And she saved her money because she was almost, uh, it was like she was hired out to Thompson's farm and saved her money from that to hire a lawyer. <laughs> this is what this woman did. She was going to be free by any means necessary. Ask you this because there's been a lot of online conversation. Critics are like, "Oh, we have another British actress who's been who is portraying one of our African American heroes." What are your thoughts about that? This conversation that exists between a British actor versus an American or Black American actor. I I think that now is probably a really good time for us all to sit down together and have a conversation about what we all go through what we all experience, uh, the things that we see, the things that as black people, uh, me as a black woman in the UK experience as actors. Um, and, and also that uh, each person is ready and willing to do a, a role. And we all just want to do good work. Um, and and I, I understand where the frustration may come from, but to know that I would never do something if I didn't think I was meant for it. I've said plenty of no's. I've said no to a lot of stuff um, that I didn't think was right for me. And I've, I've said no, but she's good for it, you know? Because we, when, we, when one of us wins, we all do. And that's all I want.